Alléluia. Alléluia. Can we celebrate God for the worship team and the band? Praise God. Sing a valamech to Bazalwane. We're going to pray. Sia Bonga Baba with Twin Wele. Sia Bonga. Uguti, Unkulunkuluetu. Tina sing a band to Bako. Utu David, a sas loco. Uguti sees in Puzekelo Laco. A season Zangatina would tangue or send Zile. Thank you. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us passage in this pilgrimage, for causing us to leave our footprints in the sands of time, and above all, to allow us and equip us to serve your purpose, so that our names will be written in the hall of faith, with the names of those whom God has used and those whom have served God faithfully through the passage of time. Be honored. Father, be glorified. I was a name change, Joba Simla, would I get Kumun Kulunkulu? A panke wako. In the visit to the Shondra, link is way to call I loco. Mondo eight years loco. As a mazo Munun Kulunkulu, as in a Kugumazi, as in Funo Munun Kulunkulu, Sifuna Wena. Young Amela will peel away to Young Amelin Piloy to Mamanjako. Bonagali sing as Muloya Kong and Pilo Yetu Kizoetia Toba Pamwako Gekamalinko Suches Unkulungulu Yetu Sia Kulega Manjus Bepagat. Amen. Snashala Pans Bazalwan and Teluk Tati Tubang being a lele on Kumdo Corner. A special salute and greetings Kulabo Abana Tobukala Abas Varashel and Amshanje. Thank you for taking time out to be with us today. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ang bingele lege bazalwani i leadership yonke ya lekaya. Abo baba bonke, abo kona, abo mama. Ulu shalonke, I greet you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the ministers that have stood here, we bless God so much for them. Amen. We are starting a new series today, Apostolic Doctrinal Foundations. This is what we are going to be considering until the Lord is pleased for us to stop. Amen. But also when I'm changing, this is a book with Sana Linda Ba. Yes, this is a good evangelist. This is a good evangelist. Amen. This is a full number of verses. Five verses. As to as it is, as our base. Then this is a big si logo si funda aman. Amen. Until we all know it. Because that, that's, that forms part of the backbone of what Christianity is. So it's our statement of faith. It's called the Apostles' Creed. Lelikamet Creed, Lisho Belief, Isivumonomu Kolwa. Isinto Isizikolwa Yonjenga Makrestu. Omunimbali, uti believers believe more than the creed, but not who believer believes less than the creed. Amen. So a creed is what we believe in. These are truths that must be restored and they must be preached. Because abandaba ninge aba figa evangelin manje ba figa kukulunywa isintes ninge ninge zo anonke ba zalo ba figa kukulunywa isintes ninge zashuven. Do you know what there are people who think coming to Christ is coming to get prosperity? That is the primary message and belief they have. And so they care less about the foundations that they have in Christ. Some people came to Christ 
foundation yabe ko ntulo niyabo was a foundation yethu moza ku Jesus you are going to succeed you are going to be successful that formed a foundation of who and what they believe in Christ they don't know who God is they don't know who Jesus is they don't know who the holy spirit is they don't know how the holy spirit operates they don't know when they die what's going to happen they they are not they are not informed ngalezo zinto ezijake abazazi they they come they pray they sing they go back home they believe god for breakthroughs they believe god for miracles but they don't have a solid foundation in their walk with god and so umayikhulu mu jesu ku matthew 7 verses number 23 chapter 24 uthi anyone who hears these sayings of mine and does them i will liken him to a man or a wise man who built his house upon a rock. Masethu Jesus when the rain comes, akasho ukuthi if ukuthi when. It means the rain is going to come. It's only a matter of time. But everyone who professes Christ will meet a season of rains in their lives. And if they have not built their life upon the solid foundation which is Jesus Christ which was laid by the apostles and prophets if that foundation is not solid in their lives they are found to be wanting they fall they to abazalwa ne be bewa awiso ukuthi udlela umuzi ashi u Jesus emshela ukuthi udlela umuzi because in their context of Christianity they never thought such a thing can happen to a believer because they were taught that if you are a believer, it's a walk in the park. There is nothing bad that's going to happen to you. You are here to succeed. You are here to possess. You are here to be prosperous, which are all true, but as a byproduct, not as the main product. The main product is that you may know him and the power of his resurrection and also be a, a, a fellow with him in his sufferings. So, the foundation of Christianity, foundation of believers, most people lack foundation. And it's a pity because products of believers, I mixture, weak believers, cute believers, people who can't stand for Jesus, people who can't really stand for Jesus. And if you imagine how the first century church behaved, you realize that they did not only stand for Jesus, they died for him. Scan through the church today. Don't go far. Scan here. If you scan most people who are here, the desires in their hearts do not match the desires in God's heart. Because what they are looking for is not what God is looking for. What they are built upon is not what God intended for the church to be built upon. He who hears these sayings of mine, not these prayers of mine, so, a solid foundation of a believer is not prayers, it's sayings. Fix me, fix me, fix me. The, the foundation of a believer is not prayers, it's sayings. You can't build a solid Christian life by prayer alone. Because if you to Jesus, always why are we he who hears and does them. You can't hear the word of Christ and do it and lack prayer. Because the very sayings will push you to pray. And if you hear the sayings and do them, you will automatically pray. So, what you do is you can't say that you can't say that you can't say that you can't say that Uti zafigi mvula, zafigi kukula, ya figa ne moya, ya shaya leo nju, uti leo nja izangi iwe, it did not fall. So, there, is a, there are three categories of testings that are going to come. It's a test of rains, it's a test of floods, and it's a test of winds. These are three categories, which each and every person under the sound of my voice is going to encounter. Who's not going to encounter the rains? Who's not going to encounter the floods? Who's not going to encounter the winds? But in days of when the see it's not who we are. It is the foundation upon which we are built. 
So if foundation yone zo determine outcome, yeah, after the rains, the winds, and the floods come. And your foundation is not a song. Some of you know many songs, but you don't know sayings. You know many gospel artists, but you don't know the sayings of Jesus. You know many prayers, but you don't know the sayings of Jesus. He who hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And when the winds blew, when the storms came, the floods, and the rains came, the house did not fall. Why? Because it was founded upon a rock. More the next verse, it's he who hears these sayings of mine and does not da- do them, which I will liken him to a foolish man. Foolish man who builds his house upon the sand. Nagia in the same thing. The rain descended. The floods came. The winds blew and beat upon that house. The house fell. Is what to a great was the fall of that house. Great was the fall of that house. Why was the fall of that house great? It is because, not because it's because it was lacking foundation. It was lacking depth. It had no root. It had no depth. Yeah, it on the surface. It began on the surface. The first layer in that person's life, you'll find that the first layer of their Christianity is prosperity. The first layer, the very first layer that many people have is a wrong layer. It's not the foundation which are the signs of Jesus Christ. And so that's why God has granted us Hebrews 6 verse 3. He gives us permit for us to be able to lay the foundation. Go to Paul, Hebrews 6, verse 1, yeah, 3. Uti, let us not, let us not lay again, which be the elementary principles of the doctrine of Christ, repentance from dead works, faith in God, baptisms, laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. Masete, but let us go on to perfection. Masete, this we will do, if God permits Verse 3. This we will do if God permits. So, for every generation, particular personnel must secure a permit from God for them to be able to lay the foundation again. Because if we continue like this, we are not going anywhere. Now, we're going to read these verses. I've read already, I've already read the first one Ephesians 2, verse 20. Let's do Ephesians 2, verses number 20. Ephesians 2, verses number 20. It reads as follows, verse 20, our corner. Uti, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner stone. ESV, I don't know if we're able to secure ESV, but I'm going to read it from here if we don't have it there. Were we able to get it? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to read it from here. Built on the foundation of apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. O verse 22, Uti in him you are also being built together. Yes? We are also being built. Should it a, it's a present continuous tense. Now, I must explain what this means. Malit who have been built upon the foundation of apostles and prophets, it speaks of the universal church of Jesus. The universal foundation has already been laid. And the whole universal church has been built upon this foundation. But if the gospel comes to you today, you begin your process of being built. You begin your process of being built upon the foundation. That day, the moment you receive Christ, that is when your process of being built upon the foundation. That's why you go verse 20, a kulumang and see and zagele, go to verse 22, a CB Zelek Tenini, Isa Kubega, I Senzega. From Itipiti version, it, it, it puts it very nicely. It puts it very nicely, Itipiti version, Ephesians 2, verses number 20. Are you here? Oh, verse 20, Ephesians 2. Uti, you are. Uh, you are rising like the perfectly fitted stones of the temple. And your lives are being built up together upon the ideal foundation laid by the apostles and prophets. Can you all say apostles and prophets? And best of all, you are connected to the head cornerstone of the building, the anointed one, Jesus Christ himself. 
This entire building is under construction and is continually growing under his supervision until it rises up completed as the holy temple of the Lord himself. This means that God is transforming each one of you into the holy of holies. His dwelling place through the power of the Holy Spirit living in you. Are you here, Jude, verse number three. Jude, verses number three. Jude, verses number three. Jude, verses number three. Ujutu ne chapter yotoa inga kongvelen shi verse. Amen. Jude verse three. Beloved, although I was eager, let me read it from the TPT. Dear loved friend, I was fully intending to write to you about our amazing salvation we all participate in. But I felt the need instead to challenge you to vigorously defend and contend for the beliefs that we cherish. For God through the apostles has once for all entrusted these truths to his holy believers. We must contend. And it's one of our core values. It is holding and contending for the apostolic faith which was once delivered to the saints. That is one of our core values. Praise God. Um, Proverbs 22. Proverbs 22, verses number 28. Proverbs 22, verse 28. Uh, Uti, remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Remove not the ancient landmarks which your fathers have set. 2 Timothy 2, 2. 2 Timothy 2, verses number 2. And the things which you have heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. The foundation of the church is eternally laid, but not generationally laid. What do I mean by that? I mean it's a universal church because it's a there is what we call the universal or the Catholic Church. Mangeti Catholic Church and Kulumenge denomination, Kulumenge sent you to the Global Church of Jesus Christ. What is the Global Church of Jesus Christ? The Global Church of Jesus Christ is a Catholic Church and Kulumenge sent you denominations. John Basi la songe, the Church of Jesus Christ is hidden here. More when you denomination you'll find there's a thousand people go to maybe about four thousand. So the four thousand is hidden among the masses about five thousand. It is only Jesus who knows his church. Praise God. Praise God. So it's only Jesus. Who knows this church? Tina so much young and young, Jobasi Banga Lengin, Saz, which is song is here called. Sit Chalana and Jalang it, sit on the Eka and Niti Nina. I get him excluded from the song because we, we, we have a belief that we are all going there. Go to Jesus when he looks at us, he knows who belongs to him. He knows who belongs to Christ Sabanakel, but does not belong to him. We are Bazi Abanga Bach. So, we are speaking in the universal church. We are speaking in China. We are speaking in Europe. We are speaking in Madagascar. We are speaking in the Amazon jungle. We are speaking in Africa. We are speaking in Asia. They are people who belong to Jesus. Those people are called the Church of Jesus Christ. They may not fellowship with you. They may not pray with you. You may not know them physically, but spiritually, I assure you, when we meet in eternity, you will not be surprised because all the people that you are going to meet there, you will realize which you know them, though you never met them. Because there is what we call the mystical union of the body of Christ. The mystical union of the body of Christ. What is that? Makunwa nge mystical union of the body of Christ kusho ugu shanga na kwe zinto kutwa izi ntezi shange ene iyo otu inga la shege lwa ukobo lwa unevi elu yayo. We are not speaking about amanzi etungwa i juice bi juice. The mystical union is juice and water existing together koti juice inga la shege lwa juice bayo. Na amanzi inga la shege lwa ubu manzi bawo. Sikwa nizu lezi jaya. 
mystical union. What does this mean? It means I can be one with someone who is in New York without changing my location. And which is what the Paul am introducer with Christianity taught him the mystical union of the church. Ngoba wa kuluma na inda watang zoe kete zo kete tamasiko. Meaning lenda besiko kala na we aziwa. Because as we speak here, our conversation, Utu Paul, Utu Jesu Paul, Lende Sikulma, Hambi et Damasego, I can't finish the whole thing here. There's someone who already knows about this. Though he is not here, but we are, the church is one. My friend, I'm going to go to the church, 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 Someone has been striking with lightning, he needs sight. No newspaper went to him, but the mystical union. Do you know what once we start teaching and walking in these truths, no one in our midst will die without us knowing. There is no death that is going to be a surprise. There is no death that's going to be a surprise because this system, the mystical union of the church, it does not allow Uguti Gwenze again to go yet to away to enge kono yet to pagati we to wazi yungai. When you study the life of the apostles, I get composed all over fange puta. Oh, Bazalwa. I get go over to a katesisha na izolo. Gobo Petro Babesh, you think of the little things ten. Upol my my hand by Jerusalem mu akapa sange na figa ibopenge ge inga my hand kachifs kapol ati la my hand kachifs agaba nitu agapa ulati unku unku unche lutu mniga zwa wo jengo be Jerusalem mu yobo shwa shukushwe ganje masi tu Paul angikshai pila gua gishu pila gama angikshai ntu aluto upelu kutingfeze inkonzo ya lo wangbizayo so there was no surprise in the church because gishu agapa senga mazu Paul wa echelua through the mystical union of the church. There is a one in, in your fellowship. There is someone in Christ Tabernacle who Satan Michelli accident. There is someone who kidnapped. There are people who are plotting evil to kill so and so. There is nothing that takes us by surprise if we are mystically united because the same spirit that flows in you is the same spirit that flows in me. And the Holy Spirit searches even the deeper things of God. So that is the mystical union of the church. However, there is a, an aspect of the church, ACB is a local assembly. local assembly. This is a local assembly. This is not the board of Christ. That's why we can't call ourselves a nation, but a tribe. You can't call a local church a nation, but a tribe. Because as the body of Christ, we are a holy nation. A royal priesthood. Come on. But we are not a nation as Christ Tabernacle. We are a tribe. When we meet with other tribes, we form a nation. So you can't be a local church and a nation. That's why it's a local assembly. Because we local assembly, every Sunday. I've heard some people bet why Ibangali be divided in my denominations. It's impossible. It's, it's, it's logistically impossible. It's practically impossible. Which venue is this venue enough? Which venue is this venue enough? How about when we bring other churches here? This won't be enough. Hallelujah. Which stadium? Stadium is called Luso Abaj Albe Paula. Abaland Albe Paula Banga Paul Abang. There is no venue at Bonke. He died. There was no stadium that could carry him. He had to do his crusades in open fields because each day he had more than 1.5 million people in attendance. Only in one nation. Now imagine Luso Kokka, the whole church. So Jesus, we are going to miss him because of his love. God, our sins are not He broke it. He gave each apostle a piece of the loaf. Because the Bible says, "Any bone can labour pieces, but form what what we call the loaf." What the apostle wants is the loaf. 
from the same bread. Utu just loko ngumzimba wam. He broke peace wa nigu pita. Wam nigi Jerusalem. He broke another piece on Nigo Patelomeo. He broke another piece on Nigo Philip from Nigi India. He broke pieces. Those pieces of this bread were, were pieces, were parts of his body. So each apostle receives a part of the body of Christ to minister unto. But no one is called for the whole loaf. No one receives the whole loaf. So that is the local assembly. That is the local assembly. Now, Uma was a local assembly, though the foundation has been laid eternally, but the foundation has not been laid locally, number one. Number two, the foundation has not been laid generationally. Say amen if you are here. Masiti generationally, what do we mean? Se kulma lente be kunya Paul kutwin dota na kutimot. Utu Paul kutimot is in those is wengiz kuluma. Zigul se le wabany. Meaning, as I'm speaking to you, I'm laying the foundation. But the people who are not yet born are not hearing me laying the foundation. So when Abbas of Fikusa Pila take the very same foundation, lay it on them. Meaning, generationally, there must be people who are responsible to lay foundations in each and every generation. Because if there are no people who are laying foundations in each and every generation, we will build a foundationless church. We'll have a foundationless local church. And if a church is, does not have a foundation, I'll show you the thing I stock fella. The Nashurani sock to a rat hand rat. There must be something deeper than songs that has united me and you. There must be something deeper than 44 White Road Grange that has united me and you. There must be mutuality of beliefs. We must believe the same thing. We must believe the same thing because if we don't believe the same thing, then we are not united. We just happen to be in one building at the same time. But it does not sense that we believe the same thing. And if we believe the same thing, it does not matter. Because So people lose, there are people who, who, who fall out of salvation just because a bad thing happened. There are people who will quit church just because someone from church you realize there was nothing deeper than the foundation. The foundation of their unity was to see eye to eye. There was nothing deeper than that. But if there is something deeper than that, we may not see eye to eye. Gisholeo arrangement in Abba disturbed, but there is a deeper arrangement. Which is the foundation in Christ. The beliefs that we share. Do you still say Jesus is Lord? Okay, you are still my brother. So there must be something deeper that we share. So that is a local assembly. It's a local assembly. Now let me show you 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9. Corinthians uh, understand better. I want you to understand 1 Corinthians 3 verse number 9. Utu Paul for you are us together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. Yes. According to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise what? Master builder I have done what? Laid the foundation Masetin and another builds their own. But let every man take heed how he builds their own. Let's see scripture see petum on the mill. See petu polele foundation of the New Testament church. See petu futu polele foundation of the church in Corinth. Because in Zamuk Veza, the difference between laying a foundation universally and laying a foundation locally. Greetings. Amen. Let's celebrate him. Praise God. Likuluma Mogwaka is Segelo universally. Man gets Catholic and universal and Yaz and Yashamason. It was a bit global for the sake of understanding. Ninga Pumini and Dawin and Nazas. I have laid the foundation and another builds their own, but let every man take heed how he builds their own. Mouthful, the scripture, Ustatela Pezulu, the town to Paul Lukuluma is addressing the universal. Uh, laying of the foundation only. When you go to verse 5, let's go to verse 5 and 6. 
be kuluma about local laying foundation, though he was also intending to speak about global laying of a foundation. Uti, who then is Paul and who is Apollos? Between Apollo and Port. Who Apollo was a tall history. I came off into Acts chapters number 19. Who are tall, who Aquila no Priscilla, my disciples, got Paul. Who Paul met this family in the corporate market because he had the business of making tents. He met Priscilla and Aquila. He began discipling them. When he discipled them, they grew. And then maybe attend their one synagogue, they find a mighty man. His name was Apollo. Little was mighty in the scriptures. Little was fervent in spirit. He only knew until the baptism of John. Why has it now Papa to John? So when they heard him, let me tell you, explain. But we need the full scope of of the doctrine of Christ. But why are you John? Not John. Not John. Not John. Who are figures? Not John. I'm not sure. Who's a figure? What you put? Who are you? What little bit of what are you figure? What are Paul? Paul, what are you? So new. And that corner where he came from. Imagine this guy. The way he was so fervent, he grew so much until the church of Corinth could not, they felt like they had to choose between him and their own apostle. That's how fast the guy grew. He grew so mightily in scriptures, he began teaching in Corinth. And then, So, this chapter is written to, to settle that dispute. Utu Paul uba anu Paul. Uba anu Apollo. Uba ba is konzi. Ena kolo angazo. Even as the Lord gave to every man. Verse 6. Uti nu verse 6. Wakona. Uti mina mchalile. U Apollo wa kelen. Kota geko kwa kulisa between men. Apollos. I can plant. Apollos can water. But there is only one who is responsible to cause increase. That is God. You can plant the seed, you can water the seed, but you can't manipulate the increase and the growth. There is only one who can go where the seed is and master the process so that there is increase and growth. Yes, verse number seven. So then neither is he that planted anything. Would Lord Jalara Iluto, now Lord Kelara Iluto, God on Kuluna, Bobon Kulun Kulo Kulisayo. So Tigger, Uncle Mutio Amgela, Gilgogum Fuzoa, in a pocket set here, mean and Gisbegil Segel, Jobo Apollo Sashumela Wakapes was. Because I've already laid a foundation. I've done my part at Corinth. I've laid the foundation as an apostle. Now, Apollo is building upon the foundation, but it is God who's going to make sure that the building comes right. Hallelujah. So, my kuluma kuluma about the universal laying of the foundation and generational laying of the foundation. Now, most people. Abang amasizationist. Amasizationist abantu abati aba apostle na ba prophet abaseko. Ba pinde bati imangalisa seko. Have you ever met someone like that? Is there anyone who has, who has met who knows that? Just lift up your hand. Okay. Okay. All right. Amen. There are people who say aba apostle na ba prophet abaseko. Bati stingo sababu apostle na ba prophet abaseko ngoba. Aba apostle seba sbegi segele. So our postal bends and much. Go already the foundation has been laid. Now more from the scriptures and Jangana, you realize what it the foundation was laid universally. But the foundation still needs to be laid locally. So the same grace of, of, of foundation laying is still needed. Because that, that foundation has been laid universally. In 2014, in 2014 alone, 2014 alone, research IET. There are 7,400 people's groups. Not people's groups, sure. I'm a group, but not only human beings. So, 7,000 people's group, you will find what in each group, because what Mabe consolidated that number. In 2014, there's about 3.2 billion people who have never heard the gospel. Algazi Kamalaches will menace when About 3.2 billion people. 
Now, if you say the foundation has already been laid, if foundation, makunwa nge foundation na kulunwa, kukunwa nge set of teachings. Because the foundation is, is what we call the doctrine of the apostles. The apostles' doctrine. So, though it has been laid universally, the same grace that laid it universally is needed to lay it locally and generationally. So, you can't say there are no more apostles. Who's going to lay the foundation? Go Bangladesh, go Birhan, among nations that you can't penetrate those nations through the gospel. I was once part of a group where it is on open doors. I, I read the article Zabo yesterday and I found out that they are still existing, but it's the boy COVID. It's a group I, I sent out some missionaries. So I enrolled in Safon Varsity. I enrolled on their website and I was enlisted as one of the counselors. So there was an app where we accessed a link from your email of people from around the world about Mbuzo Corner. So, Bungena, Ufik Mbuzo, Uselect Mbuzo Zoe Pendula, Nabanto Zoba Disciplisha. Some of them were in Bangladesh, some of them were in North Korea, South Korea, different places of the world. They will ask questions and then Ibukuluman about through emails. You teach them the gospel through emails. Because you, you, couldn't, you couldn't go in. There is a book here, Paolo, one of, one of them, who, who, a lady who was a Muslim, I called him father. There's a book that I called him father. It, it's a testimony of a Muslim lady, and she said, father. father. When she came back, what all the doctrines are about the Quran and the statement that took sense. So she was converted. She was converted from that while Puma, we religion, yake, we joined Christianity. And so that book is a testimony. So we will answer these people, Siba Pendule, Siba Pendule. He opened doors. They, what they do is they train missionaries. They will take Umzimela, Bam Eshintai Pilela, Umzimela, who go to Bangma nations. Who go to Bangma nations. There are nations you can't carry a pipe, and so for no longer getting a kiss here. So So we need an apostolic grace upon people that are going to evangelize these places and the evangelism of these places is not just converting people to Christianity but it is also building them upon the foundation of the apostles or the foundation that was laid by the apostles and prophets and what is that foundation it is the foundation called the apostolic the apostles doctrine let's do Acts 2 verse 42 is end of 2 verse, verse 42 is end of chapters number 2 verse number 42 and they continued steadfastly they continued in what in the apostles' doctrine, not the apostles' doctrines. In the apostles' doctrine, singular. Because though there were 12 apostles, none of them was permitted to have his own doctrine. They all shared the same doctrine. So there's plurality in apostles, but there's singularity in doctrine. But ning of apostles, what is fundiso sabo siso otwa? As is ning ifundiso zabo. If Bible once learns this fundi so sano ning what are doctrines, it's not speaking about the doctrine of Christ. It's speaking about the doctrines of devils. Abantu bo shube kolen balalele easy fundi so eyes fundi so sama demon easy fundi so. So when it comes to demons and men's teachings, there's plurality. Because usata no funu creative variety. He wants to bring variety. Ujesa a creative variety ne command e or for everyone. Whether you are rich, you subscribe to that command. Whether you are poor, you subscribe to that command. So Satan, he creates these variety of doctrines to accommodate different kinds of lifestyles and peoples. Ut Jesse, it does not matter who you are, where you come from, whether you are a China, whether you are, you are Kosa, you are Zulu, you are Sutu, whatever you are, when you come to Christ, you find one doctrine. And this doctrine thrives in every land on earth. So, our thing is fundi says, 
Umaoyo penetrates a different land. You can't say Giagbanta ba pua funangfi ngkulu menge inge bokbona. You can't say Giagbanta ba tebile funangfi ngkulu mengo kika la kekbon. You bring the same doctrine. Ninge luche sa ite mangale doctrine. He has wired it in such a way that it will work everywhere in the world. Wherever you go and teach the doctrine of Christ, it is going to thrive and it is going to work where you preach it. So there is no need to change strategy. There is no need to change doctrine. There is no need to change teaching just because you are going to a particular kind of people. I've heard people saying, if you are going uh, to, to talk back, speak about money because the people there... If you are going to Cape Town, speak about this. If you are going to, to, to New York, the gospel of Jesus is one. He doesn't have doctrines. He has a doctrine. If it works in Peter Maritzburg, you can impose the very same thing. Take it to Madagascar. It's going to produce the very same result it produced here. So to go back in this they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. One in the apostles' doctrine. These were the days where you couldn't come to the pulpit and say everything is going to be well with you. You couldn't say that in these days. You couldn't just be born again yesterday and after a year you are saying I have a calling now. I need to preach. You couldn't do this because there was a set. Doctrine that was in the church. Before you can be trusted to even make announcements. Just to stand in front of the church and make announcements. Just to break bread. Where they were choosing. The, the, the deacons of the church. Oh my God. Verse number two. Verse number two. Because what we need to Because the Greek, because between the Christians and the Hebrews. Verse two, ten. Then the twelve. Verse two, I get. We need to ban. Abe abe. I'm a Greek. I was told this. Because I'm a Jew. Muto la vele. What we need to do. Go back to the Zenzo. Lali. This was a tribal church. Fundamental letters up on our apostle back home. Fundi letter James. Exclusive for Jews. From the greeting, he tells you. To, to Jews, to Israel. As I to those who are scattered in Cappadocia, Babal. Fundi what got Peter. We are peaceful, Peter, and we will totally come grace. Because it is only through grace that the Gentiles came in. So his scope said gospel was to the Jews. So no mabe pama krig babewa be niggas ama chuta kakut. Ya raise the complaint. But no no as tall work fan. Basebeti about twelve, they called the multitude of disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Let's flow with this one. Verse number three. Wherefore, brethren, leak you out among you seven men of, of what? Honest report, full of what? Of the Holy Ghost and what? And wisdom. Sizo we are going to appoint over this business. So, actually, you go to No. Now, you can a good report. Bazo Wenzan, Bazo Kazizinkwa. In ministry, you go to Tatisink, you go to Greek, you go to Hebrew. Go to Guza Wenzan, you go in the church. You must be of a good report. Number two, you must be full of the whole. You go to the whole, you go to the whole, you it's because the ministry you are doing in church, you are ministering to the Lord. So for it to register, it must be by the Holy Ghost. So it must be men full of the Holy Ghost and men full of wisdom. And so that we may appoint them. So to do just a simple task, you require to have all these things. Imagine preaching. So the level of incompetence that fills our pulpits today is due to the fact that we no longer regard doctrine. 
If someone can stand the house on its feet, appoint him. Appoint him. If someone can stand in the front and say, I see your car coming. And the way it's speeding, I see it's a Ferrari. But to say, Kulumi, Lunkulunkua. Without them being built. Because people don't, don't care about doctrine anymore. It doctrine, I it doctrine. It 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 requires you to labor. You know, just to teach today, I left the office here at 2 a.m. This morning. That's when I left this house. Just to stand here and teach this today. You can't you can't you can't gamble with doctrine. But you can gamble with just preaching. So if you can make better noise. Yeah. seven, ten, Because it's the doctrine you can't you can gamble. Because it, according to Isaiah 29, it must be line upon line. Precept upon precept. A little here, a little over there. So, our apostle was saying, I'll go back to Bono. We are born of Apostle Martin, but as far as we are going to be, because as far as we are going to be, we are going to So, the excuse is not in. The excuse is not in. The excuse is not in. We are going to focus on prayer and the weight. Because the man is not in the pants, and he is not in the solid stuff. So 242, back in Sela, a sifundi swain, lea liste palula pa ipalwe in priority order. In priority order. They continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. One, number two, in fellowship. Number three, in breaking of bread. Number four, in prayers. But the first thing they will do is examine doctrine. The second thing they will do is they will do it in a company of called fellowship, koinonia. And number three, they will break bread. And number four, then they will engage in prayers to consolidate all their activities of that day. Praise God. Now, it doctrine of apostles did not originate with them, but they received it from the Lord Jesus. Hebrews 2, verses number 3. Mark 2 is fundi sub apostola. We should bas amba bona. Bazanga bas ambe. God is fundi so sabo bas tata wujesu. Uti nige, uti siya upunyula ganja anu mas tembe se linti ndi se ngara. E ya shunye elwa kala nkosi, ya iniswa giti la abo, abo kuzwa omo ingwele bafara zela ngez mangaliso na ngez bonagaliso. How shall we then escape if we neglect a great salvation which, who spoke it first? Which at first was spoken by who? By the Lord. So the very doctrine that the apostles are teaching, the first person that spoke it is the Lord. So our apostle by Tateku Jesu. Angi tu mzulu chesutin. Uti niba fundi sukti na ronke ngenze ni engi niyale ngako. So no one was creating his own doctrine. It's called the apostles doctrine because it was taught by the apostles. Not that they made it. Abakele anga pata ba apostle bati yi nesi ngayifundi sa no. Ba tata exactly zintu chesara tezi isho. Ba zvulisi sa njengo ba zinjali. Kwa sektu isi fundi so sabo, ngo ba sas fundi so ibo. Now already quoted to me to 28 verse 19 and 20. You can write it down. So, nga lente si bo na umaktu apostles doctrine si tola nlapo. Si tola nguti intention nga nkulunkulu is to pass the same truth and doctrine as foundation for every church generation. In kosa nkulunkulu kukuli si si segele si fanayo. Do you know what most of the deformities in our church today is because we received something which the Lord did not give. So when you look at the first century church in our church today, you will find what there is a decline and a degeneration of quality and value and form of life. And that owes itself to the fact that we are content for the one that was once delivered. The Lord does not deliver a new doctrine for generations. No! Ufuna le aisha ba posto li shuli se elokma generation so that there is no generation that is gonna come up with their own doctrine. Inga kwa tu 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 di ni lwe lugu kolu tu bengfunu kun palela ngenti ndi so but man begi ipe numo ingo long pressa what he hold the revelation ngenti ndi so in the putuma mind encourage them to fight 
and contend for the apostolic faith which was once delivered to the saints. So, Jesus, what are you doing? You are going to tell the apostle. The apostle is going to tell the apostle. Praise God. Malfund 2 Timothy 2 2. There are four generations there. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. If you are going to tell the apostle, you are going to tell the apostle. 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 You are going Ongizwe, uba nozwa, Timothy. That is Timothy, next generation. Zig will sell him a dot in a tembegile, each generation after Timothy, as a disciple of Timothy. Bazo when born, who will be able to teach others, each generation, as a disciple, as a disciple of Timothy? So, who will leave this? Who will leave this? Who Four. Four captured here. The generation of Paul, the generation of Timothy. The generation of those who are going to learn the gospel by Timothy. The generation of those who are going to learn the gospel by those who learned it from Timothy. So, who Paul job a drop a of Timothy? He scopes out his four generations. Who did you call my My fa, in a graphic, my generations out three, we have to go again. Make sure it reaches three generations. Now let's start to, who are you number? You need to go to the house because the income also is not to give you powerful stuff. But it is to enable you to pass it on. To pass it on. So, unkulungula rafu unukulisi evangeli asin di saband. That's a shallow thinking of the Great Commission. Unkuti God wants to pass the gospel and people are saved. You know, mak mak chato ama lakul manan bazalo ne mam. Masimisi crusade. Master City, how many people made decision for Christ? Si tata ma ama cards, ama decision cards. So aba le city, we had maybe 5,000 people in attendance for the whole crusade. 1,000 people gave their lives to Christ. What an irresponsible way. What an irresponsible way. Master Eta, si klo, te ugutu, we won 1,000 souls in Christ. As nanti ugutu, si we nama 1,000 souls in Christ, Siwe sikangana na wama soza yipaka misi sange puzu chwala. As nanti nungu shonjali. Si tukota suwa winele kukresu. You know what inge skati iba ngelo kukala kusimbi soba ntubo kukala. Hey, mwenzo eloba nigi wisdom. Because there was such man power to such an extent and diligence. To such an extent, kutubaba waba ntaba simbi simbi. Uzobona kutuwa kwa simbi soba 3,000. Presents of five. Because if you go into the church and ask someone next to a lady, you are sending so five thousand. So there were people who were keeping track. And you may be seeing the issue about three thousand, two 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 forty two x. You may be seeing the issue about three thousand. We ask Ben and our pastor, Alexander Tiwe, let's promise them breakthrough so that they come back next week. Let's promise them good so interpreter. I'm a pupa, Baba Buye next week. When you look at most of the things we do today, you realize what it's seeker friendly. It's to draw crowds, not to make disciples. Is what we send this way three thousand guys all. You expect when you come to church the following day, things are gonna change. Kambu postuzo tu kshuma ila vambi se kanga nixi disway three thousand. Peter was calling a teaching. Please just entertain the people a bit. Let me be fika. What you like? I go in the cellar. So the, they drill the doctrine. Even the day after they won 3,000 men. They didn't say we have so many projects which we are doing. This is a good time to collect offering. But no. they grounded them in doctrine. And that's why the Lord kept adding. There was no minus. So what mabe fia ngaksasa? We are going to fuga banda ba chalu puza banda ba chalu groova. Abanda ba chalu bumna. Mabe fia ba fia taktu lengini. Kumeme zindo te yoto. Ya fundi si ya fundi sa. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. There is teaching. There is teaching. If what we do can amuse unbelievers, it has not amounted to this. Let's go back and tell us from the apostle. And the fellowship there was no time where the church gathered for our Let's say we saw a fagyonu ananeno safirit lasted for ten hours. 
go go and count hours. After three hours, after four hours, count those hours, you'll see what it lasted for ten hours. So you can't lie in that intensity of glory. for ten hours. And then you come in that atmosphere, you want to lie. Ten hours consecration of glory. Two people died. In the late intense now, they couldn't quit church. But on your Bafana Bambala or Twa Ibanin Waba, so the Kubera's court. So, in that atmosphere, you cannot come and tell a lie. It's an atmosphere of doctrine, an atmosphere of fellowship. I'm a fellowship, Papa Zaneba Galokala Tewe daily. Let they get a daily in Solomon's porch to break bread. How many times? You know what he Sigas one week, Ubon Uteba Catel Mandavazan Uzumon Shumelutu Amen Among our Salem will be our second will listen. These people get that daily. You know why? You know what the Holy Spirit said in my heart. I'm saying, why do people find it strange? Why do you find it strange? Like, when you go to the crusade, you attend two days, then you three. You can't even go to the crusade. You can't even go to the crusade. You can't even go to the crusade. Praise God. Now, this is what the Holy Spirit said. Someone will say, I cannot be, come to church because I need to do this. It's because people have not yet believed that the church is the pillar and ground of truth. There is nothing you can ever do right without receiving instruction from the pillar and ground of truth. You know some of you are still running family the same way. You think you think it's more valuable to be doing something else than being in the presence of God. I'm going to come up at the place of a church in a believer's life. Go by little Peter, be not John, but better to shower. Who Peter, why no more scars? I hope you know. Why no Peter? Why people just swing around cool again? Yes, who mother in law? Why pet some cushion and get and get a copella low? <laughs> but little at my poor mechel, little they went to their own company. Ah, the first place they report about young Malume. Little they went to their own company. And Balfita lends a nibag, lick again. Balfita lick on along. And they were sure who took the service because he has good the service. So when they were when they were excused from, from prison, they went to their own company. How united they were, they lifted their voice in one. Umuto palumtana zaga palumtana zabadaba ni upalumtana zohoto go to two atanda zwa bantaba nik. But Lord God Almighty, behold the threats. Why do the rulers uh, uh, imagine a vain thing? But tanda some chapters number two. They prayed that scripture, and the house they were gathered in was shaken. And then we will not be able to So, if fellowship, if fellowship for believers, if fellowship was 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 one part or one element of their faith or belief, you couldn't say they can fellowship virtually. If you are a believer, you 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 are only an online family. You don't make time to come and gather on ground. You are disrupting the process of the early church which is an apostolic culture that must be passed on. You, 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 you can't eat virtually. If you can eat virtually, you can fellowship virtually forever. But you do need to be on ground at some point with the saints to fellowship with them. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So, what is the apostles' doctrine? It is Jesus and his saints. 
These were a solid foundation. Christ is the doctrine. Utu Christu isi fundi iso. Asma mgeli pela siya mfunda. Kwe Efesu 4.20. Uti animu funda anga ganja alu Christu. So you receive Christ, but you also learn Christ. Because Christ is not only a person and an anointing, but Christ is also a teaching to be learned. Mm -hmm. Now, those who, those who teach, is food of apostles, they don't only teach, but they occupy the seat. Give you Matthew 23, verse 2. Matthew 23, verse 2. I'm just going to look at this. Because now this verse is very powerful. Uto Jesu, the scribes and the Pharisees, they sit in Moses' seat. This is a very big statement. Uti no mumu se nga seko, koti throne nga Moses. Yo chacha no fundi sum teti sa is occupied. He occupied ba Pharisees na ba 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 bad. Uti ku Jesu nga ba tele ligon kabak show yo wenze ngo ta ninga pili njenga abo. Because the character will be flawed, but the teaching will be accurate. So, the teaching is accurate, but the teaching will be accurate. Everyone who goes against them as per teaching, they will face the same consequences that people who went against Moses faced. Because they sit in the center of Moses. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not buy a shot of the bins. It is by show zen zen. Go up as you show back. I could not know for this is could not know more. So, this is powerful because when you teach the apostles' doctrine, the same principle applies. You sit in the seat of the apostles. The same result that this doctrine gave to Peter will give. The same consequences that were faced by people who went against Peter, since you teach the very same teaching that Moses taught, you are occupying the throne of Moses. Luke 16, verse 29. They have Moses and the prophets. They have Moses. So, he law, he has found so much as a big one guy. Moses, who is a Septuagint, the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. Hallelujah. The first five books of the Bible. Praise God. Genesis, Exodus, uh, Numbers, uh, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy. Those, that is what we call Moses. My little, my little, my little, my little, <laughs> this book of the what? There is a book of the law. The literal translation of that scripture. He was speaking about the first five books of Moses. Praise God. Go back to the elder Israel. Ati Arabe Uwe. Uncle Kunjanga look at the Moss. This is Oglandel. As it charged, got the only thing is on the second level. Unkulunkuli, Gelaga, Deco, and Ayo Mosarabenaguen. That's why you into Miracle of Kalara Josh is to open Jordan. To show them the very same God to open the sea. Through Moses, the very same one that is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <sighs> now, where there are still apostles and prophets today, there are still apostles and prophets today. There are four classes of apostles. I won't go into details about them because that's not the, 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 the foundation that we want to lay today. But I just need to go through this in laying this foundation because there is so much that we are going to learn. Next week, Amen. Please. Can you just recite everything I've said? Where do mom or Bob went on being Look, so me, Sandy, please recite. I need to say classing. So we must be diligent in studying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We have four classes of apostles. The first class, why many people say there are no more apostles. You will see from here. 
we have the first class. For occupied, this first class is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. We are now here to chase Obi Zongo, Apostle of God. I get composed of Uncle Pilan, I'm changed. Conab Apostle Bakestu, I'm changed. Utesum, Postol Kankudunku. He was sent by God directly as a messenger and an ambassador and an, a diplomatic envoy to come on earth and establish the kingdom. So he needed to be sent. And my tune, he was Ubawam Pepet. He blew on them. Was it just as the Father has sent me, meaning the same method and procedure? Sent I you, and then he blew on them what received the Holy Ghost. So they were sent. John 20, verse number 20. So Ujes is that it occupies. No one can be an apostle in the class of Jesus today. No one can carry the apostolic grace fully. The apostolic grace fully that Jesus carried while he was on earth. No matter the level of revelation that you may carry, you can't reach this level because Jesus was an apostle of God. Hebrews 3 verse 1, Uti Jesus is the, is the apostle. Yes, he's an apostle and high priest of our, of our profession. Jesus Christ is the apostle and high priest of our profession. So, and you can't be like Jesus in your apostolic office today because for you to be like Jesus, you must have sat with God and seen God with your eyes. And you must have heard God sending you, blowing on you just like he did in Christ. You must have been conceived by a virgin. So you can't be an apostle in that class. It's only Jesus who occupies. You will find out when we study about prophets as well. There is an office of a prophet that does not belong to the fivefold ministry. It was upon Adam. It was upon David. It was upon Noah. It was upon Jesus. It's a threefold court that cannot be broken. It's a king, priest, and prophet. I am going to ask fivefold until, no until. So there's a time where prophets and apostles are going to seize. God a leli elhamba ne king, priest, prophet. Lo prophet are pelu eternal. Go bube corner even before the fivefold was there. Adam was one of them. And this one will escape through eternity. Jesus is, is a prophet eternal. Because the priesthood is in a kingship, in a prophetic ministry. It's the order of Melchizedek. And that order of priesthood is, is, is eternal. There will be prophets in eternity. God is fivefold. Yes, yes, yes. As long as God has a mind, as long as God speaks, we need someone to relay the message. And those people who are going to occupy that place are what the, 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 the who are prophets. I will explain it in details. King, priest, prophet. These three ministries. priest, ministry gift eternal. kingship eternal. Why do you think his prophetic ministry is dependent on, on time and fivefold? It's also eternal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Uche he is, he is an apostle. He is an apostle. No one can be an apostle in his, in his, in his class. Why? Because Mofundu John 3 verse number 34, he received the spirit without measure. Maufunda, Uchon, Uchon, Uchon 3, number 34. Let he receive the Spirit without measure. For he whom God speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. So Jesus was not given a measure of a Spirit. He received the full measure of the Holy Ghost. When you read U -U Romans 12, verse number 3, Romans 12, verse number 3, Zomuzu Paul, Uti, God has dealt with us a measure of faith. Yes, the, dealt to every man the measure of faith. Even if faith, you don't possess the fullness of faith. God has dealt with each one a measure of faith. So he who has a gift of prophecy must prophesy in direct proportion to their level or measure of faith. Say amen if you are here. Mouthful of 1 Peter 4 verse 10. Uti, as you have received, each one of you a gift. Every man has received that gift. 
the gift, not all gifts. So, as you were man, you Christ, anointing a Christ. So, I can't be an apostle with capacity, that Jesus. I can't be an apostle with capacity, that Jesus. So, one who occupies this office is Jesus. The second class of apostle is what we call the apostles of the Lamb. Revelation 21, verse number 14. Revelation 21, verse number 14. Apostle, and the wall of the city had 12 foundations. Oh, Bazalon, the 12 foundations, and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. Remember, in New Jerusalem, in Amaketa Mangag, our 12, and Amakama Patriarchs. Do you think Gentiles? Is there a gate of Gentiles here? That's why Unkulunkulu and Paul to lay the foundation for the Gentile church. Go by the foundation of Allah is Jewish. This city is a Jewish city. The foundations are 12 Jews. The gates are 12 Jews. So, Ungulungul Wafuna Kabulu Paul am Sende as a special messenger to the Gentiles. Uguzazobega, a foundation for the Gentile church so that they have a share in eternity. So, Kutuage, it had 12 foundations, and in them, the name of the 12 apostles of who? Of the Lamb. Apostle Beungu, this is the second class. No one can be an apostle in this rank because since their names are in a foundation, it means there's no one who can be added. So, Gishubi is Ubum Postol, Gagum Postol, Weung. By faith. As bully is Enzo 1, verse 15. Is 1, verse number 15. Am I teaching you well? Is Enzo 1, verse 15. In those days, since often the criteria is that you are not going to be able to do it, you are not going to be able to do it. This was after Judah Scariot, as Lengsi. So, on the scat bed tenders, they were realizing that we were going Until Peter told us, "Ambulut, no, we are going to go to the church. Let's get another one. Those who are listening, they are here. Hallelujah. We are going to unka at. But before going to unka at, we are going to select one band. Job asi bangak. As far as going to unka at, Tina song. Select one. I get select one band. Amen. I'm going to go and select one. I'm going to go and select one band. We've been part of this ministry for the past eight years. You are narrowing down the scope. Masetwe labo I excelled to abandon who come for every prayer meeting. You keep narrowing down the scope. So laba banya ba kritwa a criteria before baza ba figure kumkato. So now the criteria is being set. Peter stood up in the midst of and said, the number of the names together were about 120. Yes, let's flow. Let's flow. And men and brethren, this scripture must needs be fulfilled. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. Yes, verse 18. Now this man purchased this. We know him. We know Judas. Yes. Verse 19. Okay, verse 20. Now this is where I want to, I want to go. Verse 20. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his reputation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. Yes. Wherefore of these men which have, number one, accompanied with us all that time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. So, for someone to qualify to fill a space in becoming an apostle of the Lamb, he must be there all the time. That Jesus physically went in and out among us. Yes? Let's go on. Now, we say, Ashukuti, as full of the joina, you must have been there from the baptism of John. And to that same day that he was taken up, I was waiting. Gangi ko na wata, gangi samu, gangi peace. Basalo ngi skate nyuswa. Ufane lu mboni le nyuswa. Because these ones are eyewitnesses of his ministry. Uti John. Uti that which we saw, which we beheld, which we held with our own hands. Uti it was the word of life. The same we declare to you so that you might have fellowship with us. Our fellowship is with the Father and the Son. 
Now, the funu be kono Jesus. Uguzuri, noba. Ubunge uimeli intensity. Yale ministu azangu mbono Jesus vugile. Because the primary assignment was to testify that he is risen from the dead. And we testify by the mbono. So you can testify by faith. Ugutu vugile. Melu, I saw him after he was risen. And my challenges, my fights, my persecutions, about the people in our, you, 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 believing in the resurrection of Christ by faith is not sufficient to withstand those persecutions. It must be by an undeniable, substantial evidence and eyewitness. Ufunuti noma se se se. Yabona wenu nefe tutu Jesu fugid. Umunga torment wa like these apostles. Kona banga wela we place of doubt. Oh, Pedro, there was no doubt because they saw him. So, he encountered Yabo was a match for their persecutions. Some of you, your encounters are insufficient. Kuneteshe Umbi, one which was very powerful. Ute... The higher the big one, the higher the one, the level, the higher the, the devil. That's true. And it's very powerful. The higher you go, the cooler it gets. It gets cold. And it gets lonely. The more you pray, the more you attract Satan. The more you don't pray, the more Satan controls you. Apostolic churches were accompanied with persecution. You can't be part of an apostolic church. Must be persecution. It's our sufferings. Find a nice church. Don't go to an apostolic church. Don't be led by apostles. If you have sufferings, that Paul may be who take it as fitness and not to look at Christ. Who buy in there? What is in there? Buy out in the hamburgers. Na kushwa, na gufa, na na na. If you form part of an apostolic church, you are in the front line of the battle. You face the first fierceness of Satan. I'm a retaliation. I used to not understand this. But when I, I began studying and walking with God, I realized that I can't be exempted from sufferings. I can't be exempted from persecutions. In fact, that is when the anointing drives. Because the apostolic anointing loves battles. That is when it drives. Even a lap, the petera couldn't get cut best hushua. I want to get cut best hushua. What kitchen you're going? Get cut best a part more silla in what's up from a con. Oh, oh, efficient six by Palule Machele. Oh, Bazalanibang. So the more they were persecuted, is the more the gospel was thriving. Mabe Bayer, Babacha, Jerusalem, Pen, Mabe Bashu, Palel, Tritella, was Samari. So you can't, you, you can't be part of an apostolic community and all communities must be apostolic. It's an error to be a community and not be apostolic. Even if you are led by a pastor, even if you are led by a teacher, you must be apostolic. Because you can't be a New Testament church and not take uh, the posture or the form of the foundation that the, the New Testament church is built upon. Hallelujah. So to Akubu Munton Jaloge, who was ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection, if you are not here, and you choose the apostolic team, and you are not there, and you can observe the you can't form there. And today, I can assure you, there's no one who's alive. So, case closed. No one is an apostle of the Lamb today. Category number three, we have what we call foundational apostles. Foundational apostles. Paul was part of this group. You must know that the apostles of the Lamb also form part of foundational apostles. Because they also laid foundation in the church. These are foundational apostles. What are foundational apostles? Utu Paul njenge nyange ilkaran pile gisbegili sege lage komunyo ngabege sin. Kapage le sese bego gung kestu chesu. Utu twentu ti sege lo sakiwe obani abapostol na abaprofet. U chesu kreste in kogo ye kumbi is the chief cornerstone. I cornerstone is the first stone that is laid. Maguzo bego building. Uguzi building yonki bene reference yon. So onki stine sebe wayo must have reference to the cornerstone. 
So there is no brick that you can lay and an eye reference to the cornerstone. So a cornerstone directs the shape of the building. And Jesus is that cornerstone. Hallelujah. Now, Paul, Ephesians 3, verse 3, verse 5, Uthi Manfundi in Wadzami Nzo Konda, Uthi Ngina Sisambulo, Salem Fikharalo, Ebe Fikhi, Ogu Matota, Nabate, Kati Neze Ikhuli. Kodun Kunungula Sayambuli, Lekba Posto, Naba Prophet Baka Bangwele, Ugu Tabe Zizwe, Bakika Nganyele, Nama Juta, Enti Indi Swemi. So, Uya Kazage Lapuku, this ministry has been revealed to him, which is a Gentile church, or a church that, con that includes the Gentiles and the Jews. So, these are foundational apostles. There is no new doctrine that can come today. There is no new doctrine that has the same authority that the apostles and prophets who wrote the Bible had. A canonical authority ended with Apostle John. I got come to my finger manager. Ete is fundi so we foundation. Is he begging we foundation? Um, we import to the same generations, but we don't edit it. So you can say, you know why we can't learn the land? Imagine you go be inspiration, a canon because all scriptures inspired of God. Who be inspiration here? Quenon. I I I zangi value go John. Do you know how much mess will be there? That is why we can't accept e e e e another testament. I'm a latter day saints. Lay up a lot John Smith. I'm a latter day saints. You are born in the book. Father, my shut up shop. No tab abo. Seven zero zero. My Jehovah Witness. You know what, what verifies into a best truth? Just in when we But you was born with lenti ekene so that masi kulu magzo vuti kizi. If vuta ambe vuti mabe kulu. That is how they verify they verify their message. But kota uhambo luya emawos. But you just kesi kulu manabe ashi sikizi. But not much from my lama would let another testament develop. Go look, your heart is gonna bend. Umu you call now alone, I'm a demonia evil sitting crazy. So, your witness that this thing is truth would my cool young she's in crazy. Are you here? So, we can't accept another testament, we can't accept other books that claim to be a special revelation from God because the only book. That is credible for special revelation from God is the Bible. Yonke nyingi mwate si pala umanje si funu kaza lea. Ayiko kote renga kwi otorite fana yonai. So no apostle has that kind of anointing to lay foundation. A new one. No one is receiving any new doctrine to add to the foundational doctrinal truth. No one. So, there are no foundational apostles today, meaning there is no one receiving a new foundation, but there are apostles who lay a foundation that was received by the foundation, by the foundational apostles. But I was thinking of revelation, and I was thinking of the second issue. I was thinking of the second So, which apostles are existent today? These are non-foundational apostles. These are non-foundational apostles. Every apostle that is existent today is a non-foundational apostle. These are apostles that they are here. They are not in the same measure of authority as the early apostles. Mausu, Kabango, Sulazi, Camilita Apostle, Shuktini, we are born in the Philippians 2, verse 25, for Epaphroditus. You will see with a church, a church, there can be someone who is an apostle of the church. Because if we, if we, we lay hands on you, we say to you, go to Cape Town and start Christ Tabernacle there. You are an apostle. Because you've been sent on a particular mission. You are deployed. You are a messenger. They come let apostle to send one. With a specific mission. Are you here? So if we, 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 we will touch touch him off and, and lay hands on him. And say go to Cape Town and represent us. And what we stand for. Make sure the same quality of culture that exists in this house is there as well. He goes there on an apostolic mission. You know there are pastors who can stand in an apostolic office. Because of his assignment, he's a pastor. Called the officer operator from Glona. He ministers like his pastoral. 
but in Taba Magi on a Mekulumi apostolic. Though he's not called an apostle. David they are not called apostles, but when you study his life, you realize that he's an apostle. So it's not title, it's function. You can carry that title without the function. If you have a function, you don't bother. Because once you start speaking, it's the people that are going to say. Moses he didn't say Le Nyora ya ya Aronino Moon, it's he's a news. Wash is a noose. That ye and do that ye are pending your water. Let no moon will get your offer. Don't need to fight for a title. I'm offended. You didn't address me well. It's a sign you are not dead. Because you can. I'll feel more come up to us being a little male. You know you are a male. Always being a little woman, woman, you know you are a woman. When you are, it's your function, it's your function. The moment your horn begins operating, the oil upon your lap begins flowing, the people who are there are going to recognize who oh, this is not just a normal pastor, he's not just a normal teacher, but there is a particular grace resident upon his life, and that place is an apostolic one. So many people are fussy about offices. Because you are prophet, man of God. prophet. We pray for the restoration. There is so much that needs to be restored. And there is so little time. Tena sila wabat kashwa nge yehura le sikhan. Inti imi zo valongo six. Kota batan yusu tena riyo fana nala bat kashwa ksen. Funa se kense ke tuti inti meli nyo ila ba ipi hi kota se besi lime enj ayit. There is so much work but little time. And so it grieves the Holy Spirit when he sees us. Wasting time as if we have millenniums. Men must be raised. People must be raised. You must be raised. You must come to a point. Fear the lipuzu chesa. Intak bizele onu ches. Intak intak sin disele on. Utu Paul gizlo lam gizeng bam belo kuchesa ng bam belagona. There is something you were apprehended for. Mai tiki gizeng gilu lelo kuzeng bam kuchesa mbaga. Chuku tukoni tai pe tu ches no. Uti njoba ngi isbo, shwa ngabo shelu nte tize. So ngi zlule ngapambi luguti lende ngi ibo shelu ngi ifeze. So you are a prisoner for a reason. So you can't be going around talking and wasting time. You, we don't have time as the body of Christ. We must come to a place where we take rising seriously because if we don't, we are going to waste the little time that we have and we will be in shame in the grandstand in heaven when people are receiving rewards. So every opportunity you get, study the word. Pray. Oh, Bazaban. I don't know what happened. You know, my, 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 my father and the Lord, Ong Zalang Evangelu, Apostle S. H. Zuma, is a great town. He preached the gospel to us. There was something burning within me. He was saying, He saved him, he was saying, He was saying, He was saying, He was saying, without involving the church. I remember Sasi and I went to Shia Bazali. Setu is Shia Moya Manj. Monu and Sash Tango Shia Bazali. There was no electricity in that area. Nikon? There was no electricity in that area. And then Kunma, Kupus Bo, Nangus Bo. Can you stand this Bo? Nangus Bo. Our bassist. We used to share the same bed with him. Thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> because uh, 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 we used to climb mountains without the supervision of the pastor. One day I woke my pastor up. Sanyuga <laughs> sentabil. Masasibu go tandaza. 
until me now I see what God is doing. Because lente sayamgeli when I strive, I piled up money by a loud hailer. Gimengedwa. Something wouldn't allow me to sleep. Wouldn't allow me to eat. I didn't know what it was. I bought the thing. Give me a bag. 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 So that whosoever believeth in him will not perish. I did not have revelation. I repeated what I heard my father saying. Exactly. People will come out of houses. One day I announced that. So, I'm coming back. Come. When I got there, the place was packed. We stand. This figure is in a loud hail. So, I'm going to pay my bed. Masek pela madres sil bege ele ni sfuni dawe no mkhosha si mengale go mkhosha na ngu na ngu tom futi she knows we were doing that with her we preach the gospel no one supervising us no envelope no pulpit on Sunday we were not fighting for this we were never angry at our fathers who so kula ganja na usnik kula ganja na ma taxi rank sa wau me me taxi rank. Yes, cut up and be my queue. No five minutes, be my queue. We are mazu. Ah, mungu ne taxi. I was going to eat. Ah, I was going to have one tanda zanga. You will sit in a taxi before it goes. But in Galas, what was we killed? My wife and my children are going to watch us. There was something embedded in our hearts because of the apostolic grace that the gospel was preached under. Oh, today, Yabazalwa, and today they are just walking. They are free. There is no responsibility. No burden whatsoever. The problem is the foundations. They don't know the urgency of the matter. They are put to Malenda. There was conga. They are teaching the word. The believers are sitting there. But they give you a mangalo, a mangalo. But they don't stand up. Kule da rona do shede bras. Kepane kati bali tama hole bris. Before a teacher walks in in class, we will stand up and testify. Go Lord, three minutes before again, we'll stand up. My name is so and so. I want to tell you about Jesus. Jesus saved my life. He did one and two and three. He can also save you. No one stood in front of us and taught us, but there was a drive within us. There was a drive within us. Utilini kama abadaba asinda ngalo askwazu wanda ati unelini kama. We all have one name, and I'm a custodian of that name. If I don't preach the name, who's gonna preach that name? and definitely rise within you as a believer not as an apostle as an evangelist no 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 something must arise within you as a one to was to stand for the gospel to stand and be counted take me up take me up a bit oh my god Nothing but some son of Popeli in promotion and sila. A lighter, this series is gonna light your tail up. The Lord Holy Ghost is gonna light your tail with fire. You are gonna go back to your workplace as a burning torch. You are gonna go back to your school as a burning torch. You are gonna witness for Jesus. Even if they don't come to your church, if they do, bless God. But even if they don't come, you must begin to stand for Jesus.
The Lord is making a demand on you. You are too silent, though, Esther. You must know that if you keep quiet at this time, deliverance for the Jews will come from somewhere else. Because you have set up the kingdom for such a time as this. You have employed the dead school for such a time as this. You have employed the dead bank for such a time as this. You, you, got, you graduated and got a place in that university for such a time as this. You got a bursary to that college. God has smuggling you into that very system so that you will begin to testify and preach about Jesus without any expectation to be honored or respected but just to preach the gospel come on someone lays up your voice and ask for grace pray 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 and ask for grace begin asking him for Christ let's go let's go begin asking him for grace give me grace Oh, to Paul, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of that's how I'm praying. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Take us all higher. Take us higher. Just keep praying for grace. Keep praying for the grace of God. Pray for grace. Kunande pare kota pali talos. Shele pendwe kepele tena. Ushama takwata. E pare dwe kenteleso. Ushami ateta. E pre konteke. Ilama koshaba ya takas. Kule mende bele ketepes. Kulala. Some of you have a call to ministry but you are too cute now. May God anoint you. May God anoint you. May God anoint you. I want you to pray. For an anointing for service. An anointing for service. I want you to pray for that. Put your hands in receiving mode. Anointing for service. No one is too cute. No one is too rich. No one is too poor for service. Ngalukuk seva everywhere, Jess. Yaktaela, ngalukuk seva everywhere. in my family. Begin praying, begin praying, begin praying. Begin praying, begin praying. Begin praying. Some of you are going to receive an anointing to heal the sick. As you, as you preach to people, some will be sick among those people and they will receive healing. There in your school, there in your work. You are known for everything at school and at work, but not for Christ. 
Signs and wonders, 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 signs and wonders. Evangelize through your Facebook status, through your WhatsApp status. Let the message of Christ be heard. Let the message of Christ be heard. Let the message of Christ be heard. Satan is so in trouble because there are people that the Lord is raising today. They won't wait for a mic. They won't wait for a pulpit. They won't wait for honor. Burning foxes. Burning foxes. These are burning foxes. It begins today and it begins with you. An apostolic spirit is upon you. An apostolic spirit is upon you. The spirit of a sent one. Lord, I know you are here and your presence is a seal as a token and a symbol that what has been spoken here is truth and comes from you. That you begin to anoint these people, anoint this church, anoint this church to burn for you. Let it become a missionary church. An apostolic house. Let each and every person burn. Not just the leaders, but everyone. Let the least amongst us be as strong as David. Let everyone become a tree. Let them be soul winners. winners. Let them be kingdom agents. I pray, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I give you praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a closing remark, I want to say it, it's our responsibility to witness for Jesus Christ. Every one of us. I believe God will want for us to have a proper 
evangelism accountability program that we are going to run as a house. So that those who have been touched by God today to start today winning souls for him. We'll begin. And as we do this teaching, please bring sinners. Please bring sinners. Bring those who are not born again. Because this teaching is equipping the church, but it is also evangelistic. From next week, we are going to look at the person of God. Revelation. The revelation of God. How God has denied himself privacy and revealed himself to humankind. And we are going to begin the Apostles' Creed. Because it is a preserver of truth. Everyone who is deceived, take them back to the Apostles' Creed. They'll find their way. So we're going to start studying it. What does it mean to say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth? What do those things mean? We learn from there how much the Bible debunks all other false teachings. Hippolytus, one of the church fathers, he released a, 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 an article that was going against Plato, Plato, a Greek poet, so they were rebuking apostasy and deception head on. Without rubbing a rebuke head on. Once this apostolic church starts to rise, falsehood will lose value. Because we don't coexist with the Hittites and the Canaanites. We take over the land. The hope of the world is an apostolic church. The hope of this world is an apostolic church. The hope of Peter Maritzburg is an apostolic church. Where each and every person is apostolic. Are they all apostles? No. Are they prophets? No. But they are all apostolic. If each and every one of us will be missionary, Oh, I'm telling you. I'm an economist. I devise my plans to save our municipality from bankruptcy. Our engineers will devise plans for roads in our city, town planning to bring convenience if we will all become an apostolic church. That's the cry of the Holy Spirit. The cry of the Holy Spirit is not one more dance. No. No. One more equipping. One more teaching. Hallelujah. That's the cry of the Holy Spirit. Forget all the noise. Forget the noise. Forget the noise. Forget that. Focus. Focus on the drill. God works. Is at work. Utu chesu the father works until now. Ama chuta mti ne seven zangu mos. Utu chesu agazam. Utu babu seven seven zinu zebe manche. The father is working until now. But if you focus on the noise out there, you won't see the father working, and you'll be captured by the spirit of this age. So each and every one, we are not raising members. We are raising disciples. Each and every one here must start the Bible must pray so that you won't be deceived. You must study the Bible so much that whatever I teach here confirms what is in your heart. That's how much you must study the word. It should be at a higher level because I'm teaching from an office, but it must be something that is in your heart. Hallelujah. Read the Bible. Read it. Don't scrip, grab, screen tap and post it. Read it. Study it. Word for word. Study the Bible. So that you become a solid Christian.
One commitment I want us to make before God, before we go, is a commitment to read his word. And today, tell our uncle to the sound of my voice, go and read Psalms 119. Read the whole chapter. Read the whole chapter. Every day of this week, just read it. Before you read, I'm a, I'm a personal reading. Can we read corporately Psalms 119? So that we see the importance of God's word. Because it's a praise of his word. It's a psalm. The longest chapter is attributed to David praising the word of God. So read Psalms 119. Start from tonight. Read it tomorrow. Read it on Tuesday. Read it on Wednesday. When we meet on Sunday, let's declare a prophetic declaration of Psalms 119. I will give you leadership on my verse. But our declaration for this series is Psalms 119. Because we want to bring value as we can go. Amen. Can you celebrate God? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm sorry for taking too much time. Please forgive me. It was not my intention. Let's bring the tables closer so that we partake of Holy Communion. Thanksgiving offering. Prepare your Thanksgiving offering as you partake of Holy Communion. Basbegele onala. Kuti nespeta makat. Hallelujah. Mkela sibu sisa isiklo sengosi. Let's sing kwa essence ways and as a bantu. Got an amshan in your basses nigella gue. A sesson is sing over the Zimbawako. We receive this bread as the very flesh of Jesus Christ. As we partake in it, we receive the life of God in us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's bless the cup. Lord, we bless this cup. It's a cup of blessing, it's a cup of the Holy Communion. This is the very blood of Jesus. We declare by faith and we receive it as it is. Therefore, we partake of every benefit that was obtained for us at the cross of Calvary through the substitutionary death of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray now and forevermore and we all said amen. Worship team, quickly, 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 leave your offering and go worship for us. This is what I want to I come and link with Can you help us? from the blood Hallelujah. it never saving power comes from the blood it never fails saving power comes from the blood Amen. Mm -hmm.
We thank you for our Father in the house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The way we were taught, the way Holy Spirit you led us, we go to see understand if we doctrine the foundation yet doctrine. We thank you, Father, even our spirit, even level, even understanding yet is yours to from today we shall represent the kingdom of God we shall represent you father 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yonke nde sienza yo, sienze sine segelo, futi sakiwe, sakelwe guena, futi sakiliswa, sakiliswa guena. Eka meni liga Jesu Christu wa sena zareta, utu molonke malube guena In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I stretch forth my hand, Father, towards your people. I release the blessing upon them. I pronounce the, the perfect shalom, the priestly blessing upon them, that God, may you cause the countenance of your face to shine upon them, be gracious towards them, cause them to obtain favor with you and with men. Wherever they go, let the words echo in their ears, so that they may be blessed indeed. In Jesus' name, they are blessed and prosperous now forevermore. No harm will befall them. Nothing evil will come upon them. For they are within a hedge of fire that you have built around them. As an apostolic community, we raise this prayer that you should be my individuals as well that are here. Our families and belongings up. Under the order of Melchizedek, Jesus Christ, the high priest and apostle of our confession. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Bazalwani, you are blessed, you are protected, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Go and be successful and represent God. Go in peace. God bless you. Please give someone love before you.